So I've been tasked with determining the volume of concrete required along with the cost associated with the installation of placing curb and gutter on this particular road project. Now I've been given a CAD file as well as the PDF file. So I'm going to use a little bit of both. In the PDF file, I know the detail here of the concrete uh, curb and gutter is the cross-sectional area is about 125 square inches. But I'm going to actually use the CAD file to make this a little bit easier to determine the total volume. I'm just going to drag and drop that CAD file into Business Center. Now I could have also done this with the PDF by bringing it in and um, then digitizing or extracting the vector data. Now upon bringing the CAD file in, you're going to see that I've got some information up here as well as some information down here. And that's just leftover CAD residual data that may have been placed by the designer. So when I get rid of that and it brings it into where my actual site is, I can zoom in a little closer and determine what information I actually have. So upon review, I can see that I've got a line here that represents what would be my edge of pavement or the beginning or the face of my curb and gutter. So I'm going to determine the length of that line along the entire project. Now to do this, I need to do a little bit of cleanup and that's where Business Center provides a whole suite of additional functionality and tools to make this process very simple. Now I'm going to start by using the Project Cleanup tool. And what the Project Cleanup tool is going to do is it's going to go through and it will apply a bunch of uh, queries and res uh, information and commands to remove data, join lines, uh, get rid of some additional junk that I don't need and leave me with what you'll see here is one long line segment. So the next thing I need to do is just come in here and standardize this data. So I'm going to standardize by simply moving the CAD, the data from the CAD designers layers to my takeoff layers. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to pick on this curb and gutter. And you can see the CAD designer put more than one line on that layer. So I'm going to start by moving this data to a curb flow line layer. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate this so that I can see the data a little bit cleaner. So by selecting any one of those lines, I'm simply just going to hide all the other layers. Now I want to move this line to a different layer and I'm going to move it to a layer that's been categorized for my design which you'll see is my curved top. I also have my curved flow line, but the curved top has this icon here for cross-sectional area. And I'll show you where that comes into play in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this simply by going to the properties of that line to a different layer. So I'm going to come down here and set it to the curved top layer. And you can see that I can determine the length is 25, uh, 45. Now, if we take a look at that line, and we want to kind of look at the old line because you want to investigate it, you can see that it's actually looping back and wrapping around. So we need to do a little bit more cleanup. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to break this line by using some simple CAD tools such as delete segment that I can come in here and delete that little segment there. I can come over here and delete that segment there. So now you can see that that line is on that one layer. Now these other ones, what I should have done was I should have done this before I moved it. So I'm just going to move these back to a different layer. So I'm going to pick on the layer here and I actually want them to go to that layer. So I'm going to move them over there. And then I'm going to come over and pick this one and we're going to move that to that layer as well. Now before I run the port, I just want to show you what's going to happen. On my Material Site Improvement Manager, I've already defined my materials and my site improvements. My material for pavement is concrete. Under here, I'm choosing to report it by cubic yard. I'm putting my procurement cost in per cubic yard, um, and I'm measuring it by volume. And then I'm using that material to identify my curb and gutter uh, material, uh, site improvement. So here, I'm using a install installation price as well as a cross-sectional area that I determined from the PDF plans. As soon as I do that, I can then run my report and that should already be done and you only have to do that once. Since I'm not doing mass worth or mass earthwork, I don't need to have that selected in my report. I'm just going to use these site improvement quantities. I'm going to click OK. 
and it's going to come out it's going to generate a report and the vo it's going to tell me the linear feet of concrete and the volume so now when i come over here you can see that i've got 21 51 linear feet of concrete remember i edited that that one line so if i list that line i should get the same length i've got the cross-sectional area and it's going to give me my volume as well as my procurement cost or my bid price and you can see it's a five page report it breaks it down into each material that I can take a look at and print off. I can even save this to an Excel spreadsheet file. So to learn more about Trimble Business Center Heavy Civil Edition and the takeoff functionality, contact your local SciTech dealer.